Hello, welcome to Clarity Soft Dashboards. Today I'll be showing you how to create a sales stage funnel chart. A sales stage funnel chart is often used to represent stages in a sales process and shows the amount of potential revenue for each particular stage. What we want to do is to create a sales stage funnel chart that is in the specific order of our sales stages. The first thing we want to do is to go to Tools and to Customize. We must first make sure that our sales stages are in the correct order. So we will begin by going to Tools and then going to Customize. Once we're in the customer screen, we will come down here to Opportunities, and we will select Sales Stages. So as you can see, all of the sales stages that we currently have will appear right here. And this screen will also show us the particular order that these sales stages are in. Now if you wanted to, you could change the order of these sales stages by simply selecting one of the sales stages, and clicking up or down on these arrows right here. So for this example, we're going to take Qualify, which is our third sales stage, and make it our first. So we'll simply push up a few times on the arrow. And now Qualify is our first sales stage. Another thing you can do from the screen is you can add a new sales stage by simply selecting Add and giving your new sales stage a name, a description, a probability, and also making sure it is enabled. And once you have all of these areas filled in, you simply select OK and your new sales stage will be created. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all of your sales stages are listed for one and also that they are in the correct order, which they are. So now that uh, that is all complete, we'll press OK. And now we will build our chart. We can do this by selecting any one of these charts, but for this example, we'll just select the first one. And now we will come up to the top of the screen, select Edit, and now the chart wizard will appear. The first tab of the chart wizard is the chart type. As we have mentioned before, we are creating a sales stage funnel chart. So we will come down here and select funnel chart. For this particular example, we are not going to change the default appearance settings because the defaults are just fine for this example. The next thing we want to do is we want to come down here to chart titles and we want to give our chart a title. So we're going to call it sales stage funnel chart. Okay, and once we have done that, we can simply click up here to the Series tab. And now what we need to do is we need to decide our argument scale type and also our value scale type. The argument scale type should be set to qualitative in this example, since we are looking at the amounts of potential revenue for each particular sales stage. Since sales stage is not quantitative, we will set our argument scale type to qualitative. So we'll come over here and select qualitative. Now our value scale type should be set to numerical since potential revenue or opportunity amount is a numerical measure. Okay. The next step is to set our point sort order to ascending. We do this so that the sales stages will appear in the same order as we have previously decided under tools, customize, and sales stages. So we'll come to point sort order and select ascending. Now we want, what we want to do is to set the sorts points by the argument which in this case is the sales stages. So we'll come to sort points by and select argument. Okay. And now we're going to go to the data tab and then we're going to go to series binding. And now what we want to do is we want to set up our arguments so that they draw the appropriate data for our chart. So the first thing we will do is we'll go to argument properties and we'll come down here to the argument and we're going to go to opportunities and we're going to select sales stage name and now we're going to go to our value properties make sure our binding mode is in summary function which it is and then we're going to come down here to the summary function click the ellipsis button and then we're going to select sum and then we're going to go to opportunities once again but this time we're going to select amount and then we're going to press OK so once all of these fields have been entered what we're going to do now is we're going to click chart and see what our chart looks like thus far. As you can see, we have created a sales stage funnel chart, but the problem with it at the moment is that we do not know which particular stage each one of these colors represents, and also each one of these numbers is not in currency at the moment. They are just plain numerical numbers. So how we can fix that is we simply can come down here to point labels, and then we can come over here to point options, and we're going to go to point view and we're going to select argument and values 
okay so now it shows us you know the values for each one and and it also shows us which sales stage we're talking about so now what we want to do as you can see there's still numerical numbers so we want to change that to currency so we come here to value format which is set as general right now and we're going to select currency so as you can see now it, our chart is showing each one of the sales stages names as well as the amount of each sales stage in currency so what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and we're going to select finish and now our chart has been created and now what you probably want to do is we want to come up here just to make sure that our sales stage is in the correct order we'll come to tools go to customize go to opportunities and go to sales stages and now what we can do is we can just just to make sure we can check that all of our sales stages in our chart are the same as they are listed here and as you can see they are in the same order so that is good okay so we'll just press OK and now the last thing you probably want to do is you probably want to save your chart so you can use it for future applications so we'll select save and now you just want to give your chart a file name so we'll just call it sales funnel example and now we will save and now we have our newly created sales stage funnel chart and now I'd like to thank you for listening and watching me today and I hope in the future this video makes things much easier for you thank you so much and have a great day